If you're struggling to see improvements in a particular area that you're working on, I can't stress the importance enough of tracking your progress. So let's say you want to get a better body and you're dieting and exercising, but you're just not seeing the results. If you start tracking yourself, as in writing down all the food you eat, as well as writing down what you do at the gym and where, how often you go, I think you'll start to see improvements. And the reason being is twofold. Firstly, the act of tracking itself helps you to improve your performance. Let's say you're having to track your diet and you go to pick up a chocolate bar or a milkshake or some other sort of treat that just isn't that good for you. If you know that you have to put or track or take note of the fact that you're eating that thing that's bad for you that you know is going against your goal, you're going to be less likely to want to eat it because you'll have to note it down. This avoidance of wanting to note it down will help you to change your behavior itself. The other benefit is that you actually get to see how much you're actually doing. You know, I've talked about it before, but I see people going to the gym and working out, but in the time that I'm there for an hour and I've gotten through a whole session, they've literally completed four sets of lifts. So in one hour, they're on their phone, they're talking to people, they're just not exercising. But they might be going, oh, well, I'm going to the gym, you know, every day, every second day, whatever they're actually coming. But because they're not tracking their progress and writing down the lifts that they do, it's very easy for them to sort of just trick themselves into thinking they're exercising. Same thing for dieting. Are you eating well? Well, it'll feel like it. You know, for years I thought I was eating well and I would assume that, well, yeah, I would give myself some treats and some chocolates and all that sort of stuff. But it was only once a week or once every fortnight. But when I started tracking myself, I realized that, no, no, wait, it's actually more like once a day or once every two days. So my reality was different to what I thought it was. And, you know, only through writing it down and looking at the cold data could I see what I was actually doing. This is what my diet really was. This is what my exercise regime really was. Once I worked out exactly what I was doing, I could go, oh, well, no wonder I'm not getting the results of people that are doing what I'm doing. Because, you know, I'm not doing what I'm doing. I'm doing a lot less. If you track yourself, the act of tracking will improve your performance first off, and you'll get to see where you actually are. The same thing can be applied to, you know, anything, to your business, to your employees, you know, track their performance, track their calls, track their, you know, whatever measurement, whatever thing that you want to see improve, start tracking it. Let them know that you're tracking it. If you, if you want to get good at guitar, practice guitar, but track your progress, tick, get, get a, get a um, calendar on the wall and tick off every day when you've done, say, five, ten minutes of practice. I, I'm trying to learn to speak Russian. So I'm using an app called Duolingo and it, it notifies you when you haven't practiced and then you can look back over and see how often you've practiced and how much you haven't practiced. So that way, when you're tracking your progress, I can go, oh, well, there's a reason I'm not learning quick enough. It's because, well, I'm just not putting in that effort. So if you're struggling with any sort of goal or in your business or personal life or whatever, start tracking it. Work down what you want to accomplish Get a notepad, a specific dedicated notepad and a pen and keep it on you at all times and track your progress. Now, some people prefer to use a phone app or anything like that. For example, my fitness pal for diet and exercise, that's fine, whatever works for you. I personally like the physical thing because it's right there, it's dedicated and the only task of that little notepad is to track your performance. Try it for say a month because in the first week, You'll get this boost of motivation, but then you'll start dropping back down to what your actual levels are. So do it for a month or even better for two months. Track your performance in whatever you're wanting to trying to improve and see how you go. Let me know how you've gone, if tracking your improvement helps and what you do to improve your performance. Because, you know, I'm constantly looking to improve and something like tracking your performance for me works. I want to know what works for you. This tip is from my next book, How to Get Your Shit Together. If you head over to my website, at ZacharyHuffmanPhillips.com slash how to get your ass together. You can read more about the book, have a look at the other videos that relate to it, as well as sign up to my email subscriber list. And that way you'll be the first to know when the book is released and other updates. Thanks.